This video will go through creating a new sheet to put in the project browser, which is uh, here, basically a list of all of our project views and project sheets. And you can see here in parentheses, this is our standard uh, project list, uh, excuse me, sheet list for all of our projects. So to add a new sheet, we'll right click the sheets line and say new sheet or another way is to go across to the view tab over to create sheet and I'll just click that you'll see that it prompts you for a title block I'll choose the 24 by 36 title block and it opens it up you'll see it assigns it just a random drawing number and it also is uh, noting that it's an unnamed sheet. When we go over to the project browser you'll see a new categories popped up with question marks. You want to expand that and you'll see that that's a new sheet. This question mark subcategory is like just a holding category for a sheets that haven't been assigned to their proper place in the drawing set. So you can leave them here as you're working on them but pretty quickly you'll want to rename it so I'll right click rename I'll call it 999 and just give it the name uh, New Sheet so we can track how it moves through the project browser. We'll hit OK. It updates here in the project browser. And you'll also see when you go in to the title block itself, it's renamed it New Sheet and A999. That's all, of course, automated. Now because we've called it A, we want to assign it into the architectural uh, subcategories with the rest of our drawings. To do that, highlight it. You'll see it's blue. You'll want to go over to the Properties dialog, which is the sheet properties for that particular sheet. Go down to Other, and you'll see here a line called Sheet Organization. There's a drop down there, and you have the list of all of our disciplines that are in our project browser. Um, or is already preset in this line so I'll click architectural apply and in the project browser you'll see that it's sent down an alphanumeric value in the architectural subgroup if we wanted to send it to anywhere else like landscape we can do that and it'll send it down into the landscape group now you may want to create a new subcategory for many reasons and let's just say we want to create a new category called drafts for things we're working on but not ready to put in a in a final set so I've high still have the sheet name highlighted in the project browser I'll go back to sheet organization and while the field is blue I'll just type in a new category name drafts hit apply and you'll see we've created the new group sheet has automatically gone in there and um, that's how you basically create new subcategories within our standard uh, sheet setup now one interesting thing is if I keep it highlighted I send it let's say back to architectural it applies and it goes back to architectural but you'll see that draft subcategory we just created is deleted from the project browser basically because if any of these subcategories are empty meaning that if you delete any sheet from there the entire category uh, will delete itself so just keep that in mind if you've created a few subgroups and they disappear that may be why so that covered basic project uh, browser organization and creating new sheets